Hey everybody, Brett from Astartes Gaming here, back with another episode of our Clash of Kings mod Let's Play for Mountain Blade Warband. So, uh, last time around we left off up in uh, the Riverlands here where we had defeat, defeated a couple of uh, Westerlands lords. And so, today we're going to push back to the south here. Uh, I mean, I guess it's more the cent center of the map, but uh, we're going to make a play on Wayfarer's Rest and Salt Pans and try to basically reclaim uh, the rest of the Westerlands territory. Or excuse me, the Riverlands territory uh, that has fallen into Westerlands hands. Um, that will pretty much be the extent of our conquering, um, unless Goodbrook falls back to the Westerlands, in which case we'll need to take that too. But uh, just to reiterate, my plans are to basically reconquer everything north of this river right here, in the name of the Riverlands, uh, who are now folded into our kingdom. Once we've done that, I'm going to go through um, all the various lords in the game and try to recruit the ones back to the Riverlands who started with them. And I will also be creating uh, Edmure Tully so that he can join our faction as well. Uh, because as a faction leader, he can't join another faction as far as the game is concerned. But if we create a companion version of him, then I can recruit him and use him in the same way. Uh, what else? Oh, uh, I'll also be recruiting or creating some heirs for uh, Rook Raven Tree. Uh, there was a particularly interesting idea of creating maybe twin siblings to uh, be his and Arwen Umber's um, children and heirs and so I think that that is a really cool idea and so I'll be creating them fairly soon. I'm just not sure how I want to go about it yet because in theory they'd still be fairly young and that's hard to represent in this game where there's only adults. So we'll see what happens, but potentially if Rook dies, Arwen could become the uh, the heir for a while. I mean, she wouldn't really be his heir, but she could be regent or whatever while the two children are growing up, or something like that. So anyways, let's, um, let's start pushing back to the southeast here. Um, we'll have to keep an eye out for any of our stuff coming under siege. I don't think any of it is, but it is... Uh, something we'll need to look out for because there's a lot of Riverlands Lords running around in this area. Also, I think food is going to be a concern again today. Let's see. Uh, we have quite a bit of it, but it's not going to last us very long because of how many people are in our party. So we'll just kind of see how far this gets us. We can always run to... I don't know where we'd run to. Maybe Fair Market again or... I guess in theory we could hit some of these Vale villages and um, ask them for food. Let's see, can we catch Lord Selman there? What are we looking at there? Uh, ooh, nearly 300 in that garrison. That's pretty substantial. He's going to get away, so let's just go ahead and set up our siege here. And we'll let the rest of our lords catch up. We are dealing with a tower. That's not going to be fun. Alright, so here we are, getting uh, that siege tower pushed on up. We've got a lot of archers deployed, so hopefully they can do some work for us here. I'm going to move the infantry up, and the cavalry up. Just to give the archers some room to actually operate. Uh, this is getting pushed still, right? Yeah, okay, good. Who do we have over here? Clay Kerwin, uh, Sisterman Mounted Sergeant, and Sir Roderick Torret himself. Leading the push, so I like to see. Uh, I wonder if getting our archers up on that hill would be worthwhile. I guess we could try it. It's gonna be a while before that tower gets set up, anyway. So let's um, let's try to get them onto some high ground where they might have a better angle on the uh, enemies on the wall. Because firing from below, it's gonna be difficult for them to you know get past those uh, those walls. But if they're up here. They might be able to shoot down over them. Yeah, that's a much better angle. I don't know if they'll even be able to move up there, though, but we'll see. And it looks like the tower is actually getting there pretty quickly. I'm going to go ahead and run on up it. Of course, I do need to watch my final wound, but uh, still want to lead the charge. Oh. Oh, no. The queen is down. Ouch. Okay. So, oh, some of the archers made it. We'll see if uh, that does them any good. But yeah. 
Proper King leads the charge, and that's exactly what I'm going to do here. Um, let's tell you guys to go ahead and get closer to uh, your ultimate destination here. And I imagine this will be dropping any second. Not really seeing any kills here. Unless the, the kill feed's just broken. That happens sometimes. But I haven't seen our archers really do much. There it is. I'm going to target these archers first. I don't want to get shot point blank. Yeah, it looks like the kill feed's just not working. So, potentially we did kill quite a few of them. Or uh, I suppose the opposite is also uh, potentially true. Maybe they killed a bunch of us. Oh, man. I'm taking a lot of heat here. Alright, I'll push through. Not get shot by those guys. Why are they bleeding green? That's concerning. Are the Lannisters not human? Are they like some sort of alien race? Oh, I fell. Keeping my shield up, keeping my shield up. Let's not get shot in the back here. Uh oh, my men did not come to my aid quickly enough. There we go. Yeah, back me up, guys. Sweet. Did he really stab me? Ouch. Okay, let's get this. Let's get this shield back up. I'm going to have to probably lay low for the rest of this fight because I do not have any health left. And one good push by the enemy could surround me and kill me, so... Let's just kind of survey the battlefield here. Um, archers, let's get you inside and on the walls. And then I'm going to duck back behind this or something. Man, look at a machine gun nest up there. Hopefully those guys can get around fast enough. Oh, we got more uh, Lannisters pushing up that way. That's no good. I think we have enough men here to hold it, though. Okay, good. We got reinforcements coming. And now that our archers are in here, I think they'll be able to uh, put some pressure on those guys. Come on, men. Come on, Garrett. You got this. Oh god, look at all those casualties. Oh no, we are not losing that. We're not winning that fight, excuse me. Uh, I'm gonna have to work my way through here and maybe outside. No, not a good time to fall down. No, no, no. Ah, come on, damn it. I was trying to get outside, but that's not really working, is it? Um, well, at least our reinforcements got here in time. Did you have a shield? No, you didn't. That's inconvenient, because I could sure use one. I think he had one. Let's steal it. Wait, no, move. Come on, I'm going to get shot, man. You're going to get the king killed. Where is it? Where is it? There. Okay. And I fall on my face again. Um, it looks like we've overwhelmed their archers finally, so... I should be relatively safe up here, and it's just a matter of cleaning up the courtyard. Which, uh, these archers have a pretty good shot on, and actually if I move them over here, they'll be a little bit better off. But I do have men down there attacking them as well. These archers are going to shift, and that should give them uh, pretty much uh, a decent light of sight on everybody that's left. Especially those men down there. Uh, but here they come, that's going to be a, an issue for us. I'd love to go join that fight, but I just do not have the health to uh, hang in there. More reinforcements coming. Fantastic. It does mean we lost a lot of people, though. Uh, let's see. 62 allies dead. I've only lost three myself, though. Hmm. We're about halfway... Are we halfway? Yeah, about halfway through the enemy. Um, but it means that they're going to be spawning in down here. They've lost the walls. So it's just a matter of kind of pinning them down there, really. And my reinforcements are going to arrive right on time to keep them from getting to these archers. So it looks like the fight's going to be taking place on that stairwell. Which is fine by me. Um, you know what, archers? Move to there. That should allow you um, 
to fire on everybody a little bit easier because I noticed um, some of you were firing into the floor because you were too far back. So we'll see how this does. But that seems like better positioning to me. And we seem to be uh, gaining some momentum here. We got a big death ball over there. Um, that should kill any Lannisters that come up those stairs. There's still quite a few archers down there. And it looks like they're trying to make a push over here. So I'm going to move my archers this way. Just to keep them uh, away from those men-at-arms. In fact, I'll move them over to that side. And I might... I don't know if it's worth trying to help out here. I cannot afford to take a wound. So as much as I'd like to save my men here, I don't think it's worth risking the king's life. Although that swordsman seems... Or excuse me, that archer seems to be doing just fine on his own. Oh, I almost got him. Damn, okay. Not good, not good. I really don't want to be dueling anybody right now. Okay. That worked out about as well as it could have, given the circumstances. Um, archers, you're free to come back. There should be uh, plenty of room for you over here, and it should be safe. And it looks like we're about to get through those men at arms, so we should be seeing our men push down to the courtyard shortly here. Unless their reinforcements kind of catch us. Their reinforcements are looking uh, a little bit weak though. Not very many of them have proper armor. Oh god, I thought I died right there. Um, they're, they're deploying a lot of militia, so I don't think they'll have much luck against us at this point. And let's see, 212 dead. They had um, 290 something deployed, so I think they only have about 40 or so men left. Let's get behind my archers here, just so I don't accidentally get shot. And yes, we finally pushed down to the courtyard. I've got archers firing on them. I've got uh, plenty of melee infantry down there killing them, so this should be pretty much the end for them. Yeah, there we go. Now we're starting to clean house. Oh, a little bit of uh, lag there. I think it's like the last four men. That guy's taking some initiative. That's what I like to see. Fantastic. There's our victory. And I did not take a wound, although it was very close. All right. So how did we do? Four dead, 11 wounded. What do we lose? Uh, an elite man at arms, that always sucks. An elite long woman, that sucks. Uh, an Unsullied, don't really care about them. And a Pikeman that we can replace. Allied casualties uh, were much worse. 85 dead, 101 wounded. Um, so 186 in total. What was mine? 15. So uh, basically 200 even. 201. Versus the enemies, uh, 291. So we did do better, but it was like two of ours... For every three of theirs or something. Alright, we rescued some clansmen. I'm not going to bother with them. They're not particularly good, if I remember right. And I don't have any room for more prisoners, so um, I'll be swapping for any knights that are here, but otherwise that's, yeah, that's okay. We are, of course, going to defer appointment for that free garrison. And, um... Should I plunder it? I could really use the money. Hmm. Let's do this one. So we lose a little bit of honor, but we gain... Oh, that's pretty much nothing. I was hoping we'd gain some food as well, but apparently not. So 69 in the garrison there. Um, I suppose we could go straight after salt pans now. We did lose a lot of men there, but we still have a lot of lords with us. Like, nearly everybody has joined us in this campaign, so... Numbers shouldn't be too big of a, a deal. Uh, let's get the queen leveled up. And I think we're going to go with some agility here, so that we can get her weapon master skill up. 
and uh, she's pretty much strictly one-handed sword and shield. She has Dark Sister, the Valyrian steel sword I used to carry, so that's pretty much all she uses. I don't know if you have a lance, do you? No, we could probably get her one though. I don't have one with me, but we'll we'll try to get her a light lance or something, so that she can uh, fight more effectively from horseback in the field. Let's see, let's get you leveled up. I gotta be careful about my spending here though. In fact, I'll probably just leave it at that. Uh, give me another archer though. And the rest will be fine. Uh, Bow and Cray, let's get you leveled up. He is one of our maesters of course, so any healing skill that he can provide us would be fantastic. Um, yeah, let's keep working on your intelligence. And let's see, first aid is the one that treats everybody or just the heroes? Just the heroes. So we'll go wound treatment then, up to five. And let's boost your crossbow skill some more because I'd prefer you fight um, as an archer than as like infantry. And is you're, you're part of the archers, right? Yeah, good. Okay, perfect. So off to salt pans. Um, it looks like a few lords are going to be hiding out there. We'll have to see what this garrison looks like. 311 plus an additional 70. Um, it doesn't look like they have as many elite troops here, though. There's only six knights in the Riverlands Knights, not Westerlands Knights. There's also no heavy knights here. So that is a little bit better, but they obviously do have more numbers. Of course, they're not top quality stuff, so we should chew through them a little bit easier. Um, so yeah, let's let's get this started, and that will basically end our conquest. So we will besiege the town. Uh, we're doing ladders this time. That's fantastic. That's what I like to see. So six hours, we'll be in there pretty quick. All right. So uh, we'll go ahead and lead our soldiers in an assault. Actually, I'm going to change commanders here. And Garrett Longley, you have a little bit of health. We'll run with him first and see how it goes. And then we'll jump in with uh, Rook if Garrett gets downed. So let's do this. Alright, so this uh, map has one hell of a run-up. We actually have to make our way out of this little uh, ravine here and push up to the castle itself. So this is going to be quite the hike. Alright, so I'm trying to uh, do some damage from way back here. And I think I finally got them uh, kind of ranged in here. It's difficult to line the shots up at this distance though. Any... any deviation right or left and the shot's gonna go wide but uh, I think I've got the range down at least yeah that hit uh, that went over his head I think we've got some men starting to uh, make their way into the castle or the town so um, we should be getting some kills pretty quickly here although it looks like things aren't going particularly well for us it's about 50 50 right now and that's never a good thing. But it certainly could be worse. I don't know if you guys will even be able to see this on YouTube. YouTube tends to uh, kind of ruin the quality of the video sometimes and I can barely see this guy as it is so I imagine it's not going to come through great in the video. Um, how are you guys doing back there? <clears throat> I don't really see my archers getting too many kills so I'm going to push them forward in the hopes that they can be a little bit more effective at you know, closer range. And I will do my best to pick off any enemy archers on the walls that I see, like these guys over here. Oh, headshot. There's another one. Uh, that's going to be a tough one. Got him. Okay, let's try to get you. So any reinforcements coming in should have a, a much easier go of things because they aren't going to have to contend with a bunch of arrow fire. It looks like we have made it uh, entirely inside the town at this point, so that is fantastic for us. We'll have to maybe move our archers up. Ooh. It's a nice little, like, murder box they've got there. I'll see if I can clear it out. Damn. Just trying to get a headshot there. There it is. Ah, come on. Can't afford to take a direct shot here. There it is. No! Oh, that almost killed me. Shoot. No! 
Well, we'll see what our archers back here can do for a little while. And um, these camera controls suck, so I probably won't bother showing much of this. All right, so I basically rode that uh, that one out until we started taking a bunch of casualties. So um, it looks like in total we lost ten men, um, seven are dead, three unsullied, two pikes, uh, and two men at arms, one veteran, one elite. Allied casualties are always going to be a bit higher, 84 in total. Um, the enemy lost 161. So we'll have to jump back in. The enemy will be at uh, a little more than half strength. So there's still a pretty good fight ahead of us, but I think we've killed a lot of their, um, their more elite troops, so we'll see how this goes. But let's go ahead and get these ladders rebuilt, and we'll jump back in. All right, so here we go. The archers are set up. Um, I don't know how well they're going to fare. There's not that many of them. But uh, we do have some men pushing in to the town as well. So we'll go ahead and join them. Again, got to be careful. Can't afford to take another wound, but I don't want to just make my men do all the work here. Um, I like to lead from the front, and that's what we're going to do. Oh, good thing I raised my shield right there. Uh, so far, none of these... Well, I was going to say, we haven't really had too many actual casualties, just some wounds, but uh, there's a bunch of them right there. It looks like I'm uh, leading the charge now, or whoever this guy is. Come on, push through, push through. God damn it, who's shooting me? There. Oh, no, 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 no. All right. I've got to just uh, hide down here for now. <clears throat> Alright, we made it inside. I'm ordering the archers up in as well, hoping they can deal with that tower. Uh, because I certainly can't with this loadout. Uh, I'm accompanying my men just so that I can uh, continue to issue commands, but uh, I'll try to hang back behind them and let them fight. And I'll just, you know, deal with uh, issuing orders so that I don't get killed. But this is uh, pretty precarious. I don't have a lot of health, as you can uh, see. And I don't want to get shot in the back or anything. Uh, is there still people up in there? Well, I can't get in there anyway, so... I'll have to just kind of hang over here. Alright, looks like we were able to push through. Is that the queen leading the charge up there? That is the queen up there. Good on her. Um, we got some more enemies coming. We'll need to watch our right flank here because I don't know where exactly their spawn point is. It would appear it's over that way because I don't see any enemies in that general direction. Good job. Oh man, how did I miss that? Oh, cannot take a stray sword swing. I need to be very careful about that. I'll help out where I can, but just that guy backpedaling and swinging could have dropped me for good. Alright, it looks like we're mopping this up. Um, let's get to somewhere relatively safe and take a look at the scoreboard. I don't think anybody will be able to hit me right here. So, they have 102 dead to our 23. Um, they should have like 180 to 200 men so we're only maybe a little more than halfway there but we're getting there oh man those those uh, sister men retainers are bringing it with those axes back off back off back off nobody's gonna kill him there we go trying to sneak some hits in wherever I can. Uh, looks like, oh, we surrounded them and killed them all. Fantastic. So who is left? These guys, is there anybody over here? No. I'm going to go after this archer just because I'm probably going to be the one he shoots if I turn my back for a second. And it 
looks like my men have pushed up basically to the gate there. I think they're spawning from inside that, maybe? Kind of hard to tell where they're coming from, but it would appear to be that general direction, so... Yeah, through here. I think they're spawning in this area. So, um... Do I have any archers left? Let's get anybody who's left up here. Probably should have moved them up a long time ago, but... Uh, yikes. I need to be ready to run in case uh, this goes south. Because we are, you know, in the belly of the beast at this point. Actually, I think this is all that they have. They won't get any reinforcements. I could be wrong, but... Um, I'm pretty sure that's pretty much the extent of their men. Yeah, our numbers are kind of dwindling. I'm going to pull back a bit. Not a whole lot of help I can offer, and uh, I, of course, can't afford to be killed, so... We'll try to rendezvous with uh, whatever reinforcements we have coming, and we'll follow them in. Here's the archers. So the archers are out in front a little bit. Um, my hope is that they can just empty a couple volleys into the enemy at point-blank range, and that should help. Um, the fight's still going on, so we're not completely out of men over here yet. Yeah, let that guy have it. Come on. Take him out. Save that pikeman. Really? You guys are pathetic. There we go. No! Oh, I fell. Okay. Let's get out of the way. Yeah, there we go. Fire, archers, fire. Where are the reinforcements at? I guess they had a pretty long hike, didn't they? Yeah, they would be coming from that initial ravine, so not only do they have to run all the way to the walls, but then they have to snake their way through this town to get here. But we see they still be getting kills. Um, let's see, everybody charge. If you guys need to jump into melee to finish this off, so be it. I don't think there's enough of them left to really pose much of a threat. A lot of these guys are out of ammo anyways, so... We'll just try to swarm them with numbers and see if that's enough to do it. And it appears that it was. Fantastic. So I didn't contribute much there, but we were victorious nonetheless. Um, seven wounds, but no actual deaths for us. Allied casualties were 102, but only 30 of... 38 of those were actual deaths, 64 wounds, so those guys will be back on the battlefield soon. 200 enemies dead, another 23 wounded, and I still got 8 kills despite hiding for most of that battle. Let's see, Andre Charlton, or Carlton. Um, are you a Riverlands Lord? Because Carlton is uh, one of the Riverlands towns we took, and I'm wondering if maybe he defected over to their side or something. I will take him prisoner, though, because he's not particularly honorable, so I really don't care about, you know, being friends with him. Let's see here. Um, four Unsullied, why not? A Raider Archer, sure. Raider Horseman, sure. Uh, I'll take everything except for the Peasants, really. I can drop these in a garrison or something. And then we're going to cut loose another Man-at-Arms there. Just to make sure that um, Sir Carlton doesn't escape on us. And of course we're going to defer appointment. And I'm not going to plunder this. Uh, it just doesn't feel right. So, not going to do it. And let's take a look at food, because we could probably use some. Uh, you know what, before I buy food, let's jump into the armor or something, and we're just going to unload... Uh, all the random loot that I've accumulated because that'll help me afford more food obviously um, the rest of that I think we'll keep let's see bent arrows I don't need those yeah get rid of all that so it's almost 300 which should cover the cost of a little bit of food which they don't have a whole lot do they well um, at least it's something Every little bit helps. And so that is essentially everything that we plan to take other than uh, Goodbrook here, which has fallen to Dragonstone, so we can't take that.
at least not at the moment um one thing we'll need to decide is i might keep one of these towns for myself so uh feel free to weigh in as to which one you think we should keep and why um i'm not sure who initially held these and so that might factor into my decision as well but i do think i'm going to keep one of these towns um for myself and that way i can accumulate a little bit more income also i need to hand out all these castles so that those aren't dragging down my income but now that we have effectively captured the Riverlands again, um, I'm going to try to track down those lords and give them their land back. And we should be a much more powerful faction. And I shouldn't have to pay for all these garrisons anymore, which will help our income as well. Uh, and then we'll um, probably do some upgrades for our army. We'll work on our finances a little bit, I think. And then we'll seek an alliance with somebody. Uh, we'll probably start with Dragonstone just because they're the closest. Although they seem to be losing ground to uh, the Westerlands. I'm pretty sure they started with Duskendale. So it does look like they're maybe losing a bit of ground. We'll see if we can maybe help them if they're willing to ally with us. Um, I wouldn't mind joining up with the Stormlands either. I don't think... I want to fall in with the reach, but maybe we'll see. We'll just kind of talk to everybody and see how that goes. But we're going to leave it here for today. So, uh, as always, thank you guys so much for watching. I had a great time playing some Clash of Kings with you, and I look forward to seeing you guys back here for the next episode.